So I want to call to order the special meeting of the Arlington Housing Authority, uh, Wednesday, December 22nd. It's um, 7.07 .07 due to some technical difficulties here. Uh, so a roll call, uh, Fiorella. Here. Nick. Here. Gar. Here. Uh, Joanne. Here. And, um, and Brian is here. So we have 100% uh, attendance. Um, so number three, I'll explain uh, at this point. Um, as you know, we formed a subcommittee made up of uh, myself, Nick, Pam Howard, your LTO president of um, Winslow, and uh, Donovan, who is from Drake, tenant of Drake, um, and John Greco, our attorney. Uh, the committee met. Uh, did a preliminary view of all the applicants. We received 10 applicants. Uh, we boiled it down to two finalists. Uh, we then invited the LTO presidents to interview the finalists. We uh, initially planned last Thursday, um, very pleasantly surprised Jack's wife with the baby. We delayed our meeting to Monday. Uh, the LTO presidents were invited to submit questions uh, to me, I collated them, printed them, and we had a total of 14 questions. Uh, the meeting started at about uh, seven o'clock. Um, in addition, we, on that, we had Joanne present at that meeting, and we had the FTO president uh, from Anatomy Mana join us. We had a designee, Mike Garrigan from QTAC, who was serving as the designee for the president there. We did not have the president from Chestnut, but we had questions submitted by her. Um, and we interviewed both applicants. Applicant uh, number one was Joe Hart, uh, who was Jack Nagel. Um, I asked the questions. We ensured that they're the same exact questions asked, asked to each applicant. And then, as the panelists were able to uh, follow up with any clarifications or rebuttals, um, we did that to ensure that no new questions would be asked uh, to one and not the other. Um, following that, we had discussion. Uh, it was a unanimous vote of all panelists to support Jack Nagel uh, as uh, to be offered the position as executive director. Uh, that was also unanimous in the um, preliminary hearing committee. So um, at this point, this point, I would um, recommend, uh, as chair of kind of both committees, that the board uh, endorse and support uh, the hiring of Jack Nagel as our executive director, and that we authorize uh, the chair to enter into the contract. Uh, it says negotiations. Uh, however, the contract is a boilerplate DHCD contract, so there really aren't any negotiations. Uh, the salary has already been set in advertising, so there's no change in that. Um, so I guess we would need a vote to authorize, uh, I assume the chairman signs it, uh, myself to sign a uh, contract for employment. Jack Nagel as the executive director, um, according to DC regulations for a one year period. Uh, and then um, you could contract for periods of three years uh, after that. Um, so any questions, any discussion? Yep, Fiorella. Um, so wait, so the first contract would be written for a year and then after that it would be, it would go on after that? Yeah, we would do a contract for a year um, and following the, before the contract's up, I assume 30 days before we would discuss uh, the renewal of Jack's contract, assuming Jack does a great job and the board is, is pleased with his performance, then we would offer him a, a up to a three year contract after that. That's okay. how that works. And then you would do it in up to three year segments. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, and then another question. So the hiring committee, was that something that was already said or was it something that was just formed for? Uh, no, you know? no, I, as you recall, I appointed the, the, the screening committee to screen through the resumes and the applicants. It's called a preliminary screening. So I appointed that committee. Uh, I added uh, the LTO president, Pam, as well as uh, the resident, Marianne to be a part of it, uh, and two board members. We picked two board members because if we had three, then it would have to be an open process. 
and we didn't we don't feel it's appropriate for uh, to make their resumes public when uh, they're not finalists. Okay. You, know, you don't get that information out. Uh, and then the second meeting with the LTO presidents, uh, Nick stepped back and Joanne, I asked Joanne to sit on the committee, uh, the LTOs and ask questions. So unfortunately, we couldn't have a uh, large board interview because it would be public and, and you know, uh, these people did not want their names public. So Makes that's sense. What uh, for the screening um, group, I guess, when, was there an email that was sent out for that or was it just, um, how did there this were, There were multiple emails. So um, the initial screening committee, obviously multiple emails, um, but the LTOs. Well, I, I meant emails. specifically to the board. No, no, it only went to the screening committee. So yeah, but how was the screening committee formed? By appointment for the chair. But, okay. Yeah. All right. So it wasn't something that needed to get told to the whole board. It was just kind of something that. No. No. Okay. Appointed by the chair. Gotcha. But you did tell us. I remember. You told, you told us in a meeting. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. Other question. What? Yeah. I will. I will add that the president of Monotony Manor has filed a complaint with DHCD uh, as to our process, uh, claiming that we did not allow her to be part of the preliminary screening. Uh, and as the regulations state, you know, the housing authority has the right to do the preliminary screening and put uh, finalists um, for um, interviews with the LTO presidents, which is exactly what we did uh, we've discussed our attorney was part of this from day one. We DCH DHCD today, uh, and John explained uh, our position, and um, we feel very comfortable with that. So we feel very comfortable with the whole process we did. So. But at this point, just to not to belabor this, but at this point, you know, after we uh, initiate contract. Then there has to be a report written up, uh, a pretty involved report written up on the process, how we did it, uh, what questions you're asked, did we score them and so forth, and included the kinds of um, resumes and things like this. Uh, it's a rather, rather lengthy process, but um, I'll end up doing that with John, John Greco's help. So, questions? Any other questions? So with pleasure, I move, so move to, let's see, what's the, um, so to offer the job to Jack and to allow the chair to negotiate a contract with Jack and DHPD. I second that. So that was, uh, Jack, so we have Sandy online taking notes. I'm sorry, we did. So that was uh, moved by Nick and second by Fiorella. Um, so all in favor, uh, Fiorella? Yes. Nick? Yes. Joanne? Yes. Agar? Yes. And Brian is a yes. Congratulations, Jack Nagel. Jack Nagel. Uh, yes. <laughs> So you are you are well deserving. Uh, well deserved, Jack. Well deserved. You did a great job. We're very pleased. I, I just want to say we're very pleased with the the applicant process um, and the response. Um, and um, I think it was a great uh, great process, and we're very pleased with that and proud of that. So, so Jack, you can order your new business cards. Um, at this point, um, I will work on that contract. Like I said, it's not a, a negotiation really because it's a, it's a boilerplate contract. Um, so I will enter that with Jack. We'll sign it. We'll get it in. We'll get the, the uh, paperwork in. And um, without any business, we'll have our regular meeting okay. next month. Oh, I'm sorry, Joanne, raise your hand. Well, I just looked at the chat and someone's having a lot of trouble hearing. So uh, I guess it's some back, background noise, she said. So I guess we all have to speak up. <laughs> I well, wanted to I ask. She was asking to mute, mute the microphones unless you're talking. Ah, good point. Yeah. I wanted to ask if the 
In addition, is the office closed from Christmas to New Year's? Yeah, the office, the office staff, like the office is not closed. They're going to be available. They're going to be in another site. You break it up, Jack. So can you re can you restate that? Sorry. The this the main office. We lost the Jack. We lost the Jack. Um, I think what he's trying to say is they're doing. Oh, there you are. Try it again, Jack. Bring those staff to another. Work. So individual. Can you put it in the chat so maybe Brian can? Yeah, I can tell you. I mean, the offices have work done, uh, so they're um, um, dot, dot, because of the dots and everything uh, that's being involved. The the folks cannot be in the office during this work, so those people are working out of the other facilities. So the so the office is open. Um, and the folks will be working out at different locations, not necessarily the Winslow Tower. Okay. That's correct. And, That's correct. Oh, and I Jack, but Jack can direct people to where the other people. Oh, absolutely. Are. Yep. Yep. And uh, just uh, um, before we close, update on the meals. Confusing, but we've got it under control, and the staff will distribute all that on uh, Friday. So thank you for all your help with that. Um, Meals and gift cards, or yeah, gift cards. Yep, yeah. Chris is taking care of those. Yeah, awesome. so we should be in good shape. Uh, so with it, without anything else, do we have a motion to adjourn. So moved. A second, I second that. That was moved by Nick and second by Fiorella. Um, all in favor, Fiorella, yes, Nick, yes, Gar, yes, Joanne, yes. All right, and Brian is here. So uh, all of you have a nice Christmas and a happy new year, and we'll see you um, in January. Merry yes. Christmas, man. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Congratulations, Jack. Thank you. Enjoy the baby, Jack. See ya. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>